Hi Internet friends, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I want to show you how you can make a macro that shows this area number without all the decimals. So, let's get started. To set up, I've got a polyline, whether we turn that into a uh, polyline, uh, like a 3D, uh, a 3D solid, let's draw that and do the same thing. For now, I'm just going to do percent area percent and click close. Polyline, driveway, terrain, whatever shape. Um, you happen to be trying to find the area of it shows decimal places and sometimes we don't want that so I'm going to go into um, CAD text text macro management from here I created a macro so I clicked on new and created a macro with the name area underscore round. Now that I've already got this macro named um, and created, I'm going to edit this and you'll see area underscore round. I'm just going to do area dot round. Now this one will do um, no decimal points. Okay, uh, you'll, you'll return a whole integer. I'm going to make sure I click on evaluate right here and the context referenced object. It will say evaluation error in here, the original result and and such. Um, that's OK. I'm going to click OK and click OK. Now let me show you, I'm going to select this uh, polyline once by clicking, clicking on it once and going into the macros again and edit. Or if I click on the area around You'll see the macro value. That's what I entered. That's what the uh, script is. And this is what the expanded value is. Because, remember, it's right now set at referenced object. This is not a referenced object. It is an owner object. If I edit this and change this to owner object, you'll notice the new result right here uh, shows something different than the evaluation editor. Uh, evaluation error shows the 155 um, click OK and that's the expanded value but that won't work for the text because this text isn't the owner this text is trying to call out the referenced object and it's using the arrow to understand what's referenced and this polyline is the referenced object so I'm going to go back into edit and change it once again to referenced object and click OK. Now what I need to do is uh, open this rich text and I'm going to just do a new line, rounded area and do percent and give it the name. I could go up here to the macros and go user defined area round like that. We'll remove the extra percent there and click OK. I would have to come back here and figure out is that uh, yes square feet so we could do SF in the text. You don't have to have area you could just do area underscore round and there you've got that. Let's also do a let's see how a rounded I'm going to copy this and do round, see if we can get decimals, round two. If I put a parentheses at the end of this and say two, I still am getting the error. That's okay. Let's do this. Rounded area two decimal and I'm going to User defined area round two SF and look at that. So that's how you can get a whole integer or um, 
decimal places with your rounding of your area. Hope this is helpful. Thanks so much for watching. If you've learned something and like this information, would you please uh, leave a like down there at the bottom of this video? Also subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you get notified each week as uh, and each time that I release these videos. Otherwise, take care.